Today I'm going to school you on how to use pick and roll drills when you are the ball handler in a pick and roll situation. Okay, let's go right into how to keep your three alive when we're talking about being the ball handler as the role in a pick and roll situation. Now what I mean by my three, real quickly, is you always wanna keep your dribble alive no matter what. You wanna also keep your shot alive no matter what. You also wanna be ready to do what? Keep your pass alive. And the whole point to this is don't pick the ball up. You have to have options. So first, keep your three alive. Second, it's your job as a ball handler to get to the level of the screen. All right, now, all things being equal, Jake, go ahead and set it. Jake, you said it. My job as the ball handler is I gotta take my defender down to the level of the screen. A ball screen, pick and roll, whatever you wanna call it, will not work if I do not get to the level of the screen. If my screen is there and I only take Jake halfway down, it's hard to use it, because James will stay on top of the screen, right, and I'm gonna just become a ball handler. What I wanna do is run Jake into the screen. I wanna engage him, get him to the level, then come off the screen, stop right here. Jake now has to make a decision. I don't wanna make one. Jake, what are you gonna do, go over the top or, or, or chase? He goes under it, I can stop it and do whatever. He follows it, I can stop it, snake it, whatever. Okay, so that's the first thing I wanna teach you. It's your role, your responsibility as a ball handler to not only keep your three alive we just talked about, but also getting your defender to the level of the screen. Now, let me give you the other tips coming up right away. We're trying to reach 4,000 subscribers by the end of the month, and we need your help. We roll out five high quality videos every week to help you become a premium basketball player. So help us reach our goal and click that subscribe button. Okay, now I'm gonna give you the six ways how to become an elite level scorer by using pick and rolls. Your scoring opportunities will only enhance when you show that you are really good at what? Passing from a pick and roll situation. You gotta learn how to pass the ball first. Once you do that, and that's why I say keep your three alive and the last three was passing, now here's all about you and scoring the basketball. First way, Jake, we're gonna talk about rejecting the screen. Jake is on me, I'ma come down right here, I'ma fake my pick and roll and I'ma reject the screen. Right, because what I gotta get Jake to respect as my defender is I can break a play to make a play. You probably heard me say that in a lot of situations in these videos. So as I come down, Jake might when we use the screen, I'm gonna break it. Right, and how I did, how I broke it, is just a simple change of speed. One more time, I come down, change speed, take the snake, attack the basket, right, done. The second way I wanna talk about now using my screen is beating my coverage. Beating my coverage is beating a person that's playing me. Now Jake, because I, and I wanna kinda go Q&A, because I was able to reject the screen and beat you, what you gonna do now? You might get lower than the screen. I now place Jake where I need him, and now I run him into the screen. Here we make those choices. He goes over the top, I do what's called a snake dribble. He chases me, I probably back up into him, create space, top break, and go into a score opportunity. Let's go into that, Jake. Jake stays with me. I stop, he chases, I snake it. I attack, get tighter. So now he goes under it, I stop it, I pull up for my jump shot, okay? So he went over the top, I snaked it. He went under it, I was ready to shoot. Going back to keeping my three alive. The third way I wanna teach you on how to beat your defender on a ball screen situation is simply this. Now you have to be ready to beat and go around the help. So Jake, roll change. Now this is the person you are guarding, the screener. You could be attached as the hedger, attached because we've been successful. You wanna show help and get back to the roll. You can also look to stop it. You can isolate, it, right? Okay, so now situation. Jake is now my teammate's defender. I come down, what I wanna do is I call the, I wanna drag Jake. I wanna come around and drag help slightly. Cause stop, what can my teammate do right now? Can roll to the basket. So if this was a live person, this chair is rolling to the basket. And now, because I got Jake out here, it might be a drop off to that particular chair right there. So all Jake can do is show help. Show and then get back, make sense? I come off this, 
When Jake shows, I stop. I make him go back. I keep a side profile attack on purpose. Then I can get downhill for a scoring opportunity. So here we go. Now I'm a freeze help. Come down, I show, stop, freeze. I can go around right his backside for a scoring opportunity. Because I was really good at freezing help, now he may be a little ticked off. The fourth way I can score this ball is now he's about to turn his help. And when he turns it, I can split it. You froze the last time and got back. I froze my attack too. Side profile, make sense? Now you're gonna have to jump it. You have to hedge it. So you're there, jump out. Jump out, I can split it. I can split it, make sense? Come down, come out, show how I split it. Right, a quick drop off pass. One more time, come down, use screen, split the ball, split it, get to the basket. Number five, I'd be ready to shoot over my screener. Cause now think about this progression wise. Is my defender gonna go under? He's gonna probably do what now? Go over the top. And here's why, because I've been successful at getting downhill. So Jake is gonna have to help as much as he can too. Jake continues to, I say offset his help. I'm continuing to find solutions. Now what's gonna happen is he's gonna go over the top. He's gonna get caught by the screen. You're gonna try to back up because I've probably been successful at making passes too. I'm gonna shoot right over my teammate. So now, all things being equal, I come down, my guy goes over, I'm gonna stop right here, and I'm gonna shoot over my teammate. Here I go, come down. Uh, my teammate's right there. I stop, I lift up, I knock down my shot. Now, this is the sixth way you score off a pick and roll situation. Now this is where Jake, you all have done everything you could, but you can't stop me. Now you're gonna have to probably do what? Switch. I have to now be ready to drag the help defender, put him or her in a situation they may not be uh, comfortable with. So I come off this, your man yell switch, I open up and I skate float. Bingo. If you notice naturally, when I went lateral, my dribbles, we call that a skate float dribble. Jake, naturally, I come down, I now drag Jake and be ready to operate. Okay, now, you can shoot it, you can attack, whatever it is for you. But I wanted to give you how to become a master at using the ball screen and your role and responsibilities you can have as option with player scoring options as the ball handler. Let's keep the momentum going with that bonus I mentioned earlier. We've covered a lot in this video, and I really want to make sure I'm helping you out. So I'd like to offer you a guide that covers all the muscle and basketball principles and in what switch to apply them. This is a powerful guide of best practice tips and skills empowering you to take charge of your game. Just click the link in the description below. You can download the guide I put together as my gift to you. And if you're really interested in becoming an all-around elite player, check out our Training Vault bundle that can be found at the same link. It contains over 130 videos and three courses that cover 10 areas of basketball. It has everything you need to take control of your game. Enjoy your gift and keep attacking.